the master mind says you're talking too much about Hamza. He's not that good. And you'll see that when he starts fighting the top 10 in any division. He's got bad cardio and can barely even make it past round three. All right. So that's where I got to stop you. We will see when he faces the top 10. We will see what Hamza is capable of when he faces a top 10 fighter. He's not dodging it. We as fans are not dodging it. We've been calling for it. He had it against Paulo Costa and would have whooped him. You know, so don't, it's not Hamza's fault always. Yeah, he didn't make weight against Nate Diaz, but get over that, man. Get over that. At 97 says, Hamza main event for the title. I know, that's what I want to see. Hamza got smashed by weight limit. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, he missed weight, you know. When your best middleweight win is Gerald Mearshart, you don't deserve to eat. Now, his best middleweight win is against uh, Usman. See, people forget that. They're like, yeah, he fought a welterweight, but they fought at middleweight. It still counts. Hamza had one fight against uh, Kamaro, who has never fought at middleweight before, and he somehow got ranked. Yeah, he also beat Mearshart in 17 seconds. But I know you guys want to discount Mearshart, even though Mearshart won four of his next five fights after that 17-second loss. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Hamza is so overrated, my lord. How the heck does he get a title shot at middleweight after barely winning a decision against a welterweight? I had Hamza losing 2-1 against Burns and draw against Usman because first round was 10-8. Yeah, man. You know. Everyone's, you know, you want to bash Hamza, it's fine. It's all good. He's still coming. Now we're getting into Ian Gary. Posted today. The previous big win over D-Rod. And then all the wag stuff. The power of his wife's boyfriend uh, running through him. <laughs> Some would say he has a power of two men. Unfair. I bet his first KO loss will be because he always leaves the right side of his face wide open when throwing shots. Yeah, but the bottom line is he's throwing the shots. You know, he's throwing the shots. And his opponents have a tough time dealing with him. They have a tough time hanging with him in the octagon, as we've seen by evidence. Ian Gary is for real. I mean, you know, it's all fun to joke with him. You're Sean Strickland, you're others. It's fun, you know. And we post videos and reactions about all this stuff and try to keep up with the with the drama, right? It's part of the gig. But the bottom line is this guy is a fighter, man. You can't take that from him. This guy is a fighter. He's going to fight. Wait. He's going to fight. Wait. Hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight of call. UFC at its height. Yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might. Saying step up. Step up, step up. Want to fight? Huh? Hold up. Hold up. Think twice, ah. gladiator assassin, reckless no abandon, walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass stranded, wake up, hey, where you at, hey, got hit in the head with a baseball bat.